I bought this uh, small ceramic heater at Walmart today. It came bubble wrapped and there it is unwrapped. It came with a stop, call us before you return it. It came with a manual and what I like to point out that it's 2.1 amps, 250 watt at 120. So at 120, 2.1 amps, we'll see what it is equivalent to roughly at 12 volts. So the Kodiak is off. It's getting solar power. So it's uh, reading 10.91. We turn it on. The inverter is drawing 1.26 amps roughly at roughly 14 watts. Now I'm going to turn on the ceramic inverter and it's it's now on the button's red and it's taking 31 30 29 amps and it was roughly at 300 watts but that's inrush that's it's drawing a whole lot more than it needs to run Guys, it's hot. I gotta turn it side. Oh, it doesn't like to be moved. It has a sensor in it, a safety sensor. So I'm gonna have to cut this short because it's so hot. So right now we're at 10 point, 6 volts drawing 272 watts which is more than the 250 and we're taking roughly 56 amps so the 2.18 at 120 is roughly 23 amps at uh, 20 volts and the voltage is even while still being connected to the solar panel it's dropped down to 10.58 still drawing 273 watts and two red three amber lights I have 50% of the lithium battery and if the AGM battery was connected to it I'd be driving it beyond acceptable limits for its specifications. Ooh, it's gonna be beautiful, this little thing. I guess this big boy is gonna be returned back to storage. Test will be tonight. No adjustment of any type. And with this one, I could adjust. I could adjust it with a setting, but it was, I couldn't get it working very well below 400 watts. In this one, for 250 watt, I can't get it to be at 250 watts. But it's giving off a lot of heat. And it is using less current than the other one is using. But I'm going to turn it off so that have more energy tonight when I need it.